Good morning everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about the beautiful phenomenon of the eye which is called accommodation. Right? You know that the accommodation is actually the increase in the plus power of the crystalline lens. Right? This is increase in the thickness of the crystalline lens. This is increase in the curvature of the crystalline lens. Right? So this beautiful phenomenon of the eye is called accommodation. So it means the eye can increase its plus power whenever it wants. So now we will learn that what is the function of the accommodation? What is the use of the accommodation? Where I have to use my accommodation? Where I have to exert my accommodation? Right? So the answer is whenever I have to look at my reading material, whenever I have to look at my reading chart, at my book, at my mobile, at my screen, at near distance, I have to exert accommodation. I have to increase my plus power. That is very necessary. You already know about the synkinetic near reflex. We have a detailed video. Uh, the link is in the description. What is the synkinetic near reflex? The synkinetic near reflex is actually the three process which is called accommodation, convergence and pupil constriction. These three beautiful processes will occur simultaneously, right? And one of them is accommodation. And where we use accommodation? If I want to see my near object very clearly, this object is at distant. And whenever this object will approach near to my eye, and if I want to see that object very clearly, then I have to exert accommodation. Then I have to increase my plus power, right? So now we will discuss about the different structures which are involved in the accommodation, in the mechanism of accommodation. So the first structure is called itself the lens, the crystalline lens. And the second structure is called the ciliaris muscle of the ciliary body. And the last structure is called the zonules, the suspensory ligaments. Now let's discuss about that how this process of accommodation, how this phenomenon of accommodation will occur, right? You know that this is a basic concept regarding the accommodation that if I'm looking at the distance, at the far distance, if I'm looking at the optical infinity, if I'm looking at any object which is at my far distance, then my accommodation should be at rest. My accommodation should be at almost zero, right? If I'm looking at the far distance, remember right but when that object which is at my far distance will approach nearest to the nearest to my eye then it means i will increase i will gradually increase my plus power as my as this object will come closer my accommodation will increase with the same ratio right so it means at distance the accommodation should be at rest should be at zero and when that object will come closer to my eye then my accommodation will gradually increases with the same ratio. This is the basic concept of the accommodation, right? So at distance, my accommodation is at rest, right? So it means the globular structures of the crystalline lens will decrease, right? How? Suppose, as we have discussed that the structures which are involved The first one is called the ciliary body. This is ciliary body. And now these are suspensory ligaments or we can say the zonules as well. And this is our crystalline lens as you can see. You can see the globular structures is very least. The lens is not so globular because the reason is we are looking at the far distance. This is the mechanism for the far distance. And this is ciliary body, the suspensory ligaments or zonules, and this is the lens itself, right? So this is inside the ciliary body there is a muscle which is called the ciliaris muscle and remember there are two different parts of the ciliaris muscle right first one is called the fixed point this is called the fixed part which is not movable fixed point right and the next one is called the movable point which is in the blue marker 
this is fixed point this is movable movable point the movable point can go away from the fixed point here or here or here or it can come closer to the fixed point so it means this fixed point is unable to move but that movable point can move toward the suspensory ligaments and away from the suspensory ligaments to the fixed point right so this is the mechanism right and the fibers of the fixed points are attached with the movable point as you can see over here and these fibers are somehow attached with the suspensory ligaments as well so these three structures are attached with each other the suspensory ligaments or zonules are attached with the with these fibers with the help of these fibers with the movable point of the ciliaris muscle and the movable point of the ciliaris muscle is attached with the fibers of the fixed point of the fixed part of the ciliaris muscle so when we are looking at the distance remember one thing that always when we are looking at the distance these zonules are always in tension it means in contraction when we are looking at the distance right so it means when we are looking at the distance the suspensory ligaments are in tension the contraction form right and this ciliaris muscle is at relaxed form right so when we are looking at the distance our ciliaris muscle is at rest at relax relaxed form and our suspensory ligaments or zonules are in contraction right so how we can prove it so when the ciliaris muscle is at rest right so it means the fixed point is at its place already but at rest position of the ciliaris muscle the movable point is closer to the fixed point so when this movable point of the ciliaris muscle will come closer to the fixed point you know that the tension will increase in the these fibers in these rubber bands so when this movable point will come closer to the fixed point the tension will increase in these fibers right so this tension will hit the crystalline lens and the crystalline lens will get straight the globular intensity the globular structure of this crystalline lens will get least will get decreased so the lens will be in straight position and the power will decreased so it means when we are looking at the distance the ciliaris muscle relax and the contraction or the tension is there in the zonules or the suspensory ligaments so that's why the lens will get straight the thickness of the lens will get decreased the curvature of the lens will get decreased the power of the lens will get decreased so the accommodation will at its least position so this is for the distance and now we will discuss about the accommodation at near and now in this part we are going to learn we are going to discuss about this the same procedure of accommodation the mechanism of accommodation at near you know that actually we exert accommodation at near this is the process for the near work right so how the question is how it works at the near the same procedure the ciliary body you know that the three different structures of the process of accommodation so let me discuss about the ciliaris muscle first remember that that procedure of accommodation at near is totally opposite to the accommodation at distance so how the same procedure this is actually you know that the fixed point of the ciliaris muscle and you know that as i as i said both of these phenomena are opposite right in this case when we are when we were looking at the distance you know you can see the ciliaris muscle is at relaxed position both of the fixed and the movable point are closer to each other so that's why the tension in these fibers is almost nothing right so both of these movable points and fixed points are come closer and the ciliaris muscle is at rest position but in this case the phenomena is opposite
the movable point is away from the fixed point. So the tension is there in these fibers. So it means tension is there or contraction is there in case of accommodation which is at near when we are looking at a near object when we are looking at our mobile for example right so contraction is there the movable point is away from the fixed point and the tension is there in these fibers right so when the next structure is the suspensory ligaments so when the tension is there in these fibers it means the suspensory ligaments will get relaxed because when these two fibers are in tension then the release would be in these suspensory ligaments or zonules they will get free they will get released they will get relief right so the tension is almost gone in the suspensory ligaments and when the tension is almost gone in the suspensory ligaments or zonules they will get relaxed right and the lens is attached with the suspensory ligaments and the globular structure of the lens will get increased the thickness of the lens will get increased the curvature of the lens will get increased because tension is released over here in the suspensory ligaments so the lens will get relief so that's why thickness that's why uh, power that's why curvature of the lens will get increased so that's increase in the plus power that increase in the curvature that increase in the thickness that increase in the globular structure of the crystalline lens is called accommodation i hope both of these phenomena like the accommodation at the distance and the accommodation at near is clear we'll see you in the next video